up, guys, and welcome back to another edition of Iron Outdoors. And today, as I said with the 650 build, this is the um, gasket set. And as far as I know, I believe everything is here. So let's get to opening this package up. Um, I've been waiting almost a week now for this package. And it is something that I uh, really needed and wanted. Um, it's going to cover most of uh, the gaskets and stuff like that. So let's just dig right into this thing. Um, I believe there's head gaskets, there's base gaskets, um, there's nut and bolt uh, like gaskets for the heads, for the head bolts. Um, so that should be pretty, pretty min, um, you know. There's nothing left in there. Uh, here's the um, the receipt, and just in case I have to like return it, um, it's the sticker. Um, I ended up paying forty five dollars for this gasket set. This right here um, uh, has all the gaskets for um, an Arctic Cat Wild Cat. It's a 88 through 96 Wildcat Mount Cat, 88 through 96 Wildcat Torin, um, 94 through 96, and ZR 700, 94 through 95. That's all the motors that it fits and the models of your sled. Um, so the part number on this, just in case you have any of those sleds, um, is 710180. So... I will probably put that in the description so you guys know um, what part number it is and if I can get a close up on that and it actually focuses then that right there is the part number and the sleds that it fits. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, let's dig right into this thing and um, See what the build quality is like. Now, this did say the performance um, gasket set, so I'm not sure if um, it's as good as the original or better. Who knows? Um, all I know is I paid $45 for this, and um, it looks pretty decent. It looks um, pretty good. Um, so... Everything comes out of there, and it's just in this one big bag. Or, um, oh, perfect. It even comes with some stickers, guys. Now, as you know, stickers add horsepower. So that's five. Oh, look at this one. That's definitely a 10 horsepower sticker. So, you know, we put these two on our sled, and we now have 15 extra horsepower. Um, the GDM Life. This one says... Uh, Winderouser high performance gaskets and this one says all balls racing now I will probably put that on my helmet because you know I'm a ballsy mother trucker um, and that's about it other than that I'll probably keep this um, just just so I uh, know where it came from and as you can see right there, it is made in the United States. That is probably the best thing about this. Now, these gaskets, um, I wouldn't quite say they're the best, but let's, uh, let's get into these. Um, I'm sure, well, they're obviously going to be a lot better than the ones that are in it right now so I hope I don't cut anything or cut myself um, so let's not ruin these gaskets and have to buy another one because these gaskets are expensive so buying it in a kit like this was a good deal uh, yes well I hope this comes into focus um, this actually is 10 times better yes 10 times better than the actual um, gasket that was on it the actual gasket that was originally on that sled um, was a thin metal and it had like a thin thin um, like plastic dip coating this is like 
Well, the camera just cut out. Uh, as I was saying, this gasket is very heavy duty. It just feels uh, like um, more heavy duty than the original one. The original one was obviously from 89, uh, I believe. So that means the production model of that would have came out in um, 90, 1989. Um, and I hope you can hear this. That is the metal inside. Um, uh, you can actually hear it. Um, so this gasket is obviously a lot better than the other one. So I have two, it came with two, one for each cylinder. And those are really heavy duty gaskets. So obviously um, I don't wanna screw that up. This little tiny gasket is for the, um, like where the two heads are. There's um, places on the outsides of the heads where the thermostat kind of wraps around and then you have your thermostat in the middle and of course your, um, your over like uh, high temp gauge and all that where it hooks up. But it wraps around uh, to each cylinder and that's what this goes to um, where it goes up to the cylinder head and then it goes to that piece of metal. Um, that's where that one goes. Um, there should be another one in here. Yup. Yeah. Um, so, there's another one. That's two right there. Um, this O-ring, I'm not exactly sure where that goes. Um, that probably goes on the thermostat housing itself. That I will look into. Um, and then right here, these two gaskets are actually for the reed housing. And, um, that's just so you don't have, like, air in your, uh, like, where it's sucking in to atomize the fuel. And then you have your two head gaskets. This one is the one that keeps the liquid from the outside of the head. This one keeps the exhaust in, um, the actual chamber of, like, um, well, I shouldn't say chamber. I should say, um, like, when the piston goes up and then you have your casing and, um, all that, that, that housing inside there kind of, um, basically the inside of your, um, what the freak? I can't think of it. Hold on. Inside of your jug, inside of your jug. Yeah. That's the one that keeps like, um, all your crap, um, inside of your jug and head and piston and all that. And then... Here I have two exhaust gaskets. I won't be using these because I haven't taken the exhaust off and I don't have any leaks. But when I have leaks, then I will obviously swap that out um, for these. I'm not exactly sure how these ones go. I'm assuming uh, they go like that and then the exhaust comes out like that. Other than that, all you have is these little tiny rubber O-rings. And that's just... um. For the, the head bolts, since they go down inside the um, top of the head, down into the jug to bolt the head down to secure all your gaskets and stuff. Um, these go on there so you, you're not leaking coolant anywhere. And that's about it. Um, other than that, I cannot think of anything else that's in this. Um, so it came with all the gaskets I'd ever need. So... Um, this is what I actually needed the most, just these two. And I went on to mfgsupply.com and looked for them, and I could not find these um, by themselves. I could only find them in the kit. And so I picked up the kit. This is the performance kit. Um, so I'll swap these out, and I'll obviously do a video on changing your gaskets. So stay, f stay tuned for that, folks. And uh, please hit that like and subscribe button down there and comment what you want to see in the next video. So thank you and stay tuned.